Hello guys, um, I'm here to record another video, uh, it's called, um, well, um, I'm gonna record uh, another review, it's, um, this time it's by the Christian, you know, it's by the Christian band, um, well, this is a famous band, Hawk Nelson, uh, some of you are probably in the early teens, maybe late teens, oh, that's hit 20, you know, you we all remember Hawk Nelson. Pretty much, people have followed him for the rest of their career and everything. And um, you know, now it's uh, 2013. Last year, Jason Dunn, you know, one of the best voices in Christian music, left. And um, you know, it's a shame because this guy, yeah, influenced. This guy probably influenced, um, let me set this straight, uh, quite a lot of, uh, current singers are, are coming up, and, um, yeah, it's great. The lead singer now is Jonathan, you know, the backing vocalist, the lead guitarist, and, um, now they're sort of changing to a new musical direction. This time, it's, well, you'll see in the review. Okay, let me get my notes up. Uh, the first song is what I'm looking for. Great song, it's very catchy and it's memorable. Uh, it's got that pop uh, flavor, radio flavor style. You know, I haven't really heard this type of pop song in ages. Then it's got Million Miles Away. It's talking about having a relationship about God, how he's uh, separating your sins away from him. The next song is, uh, Words by The Alternative. The song is, um, is about what words can do. And, uh, it's really great. Instead of, instead of, like, following their traditional pop, wild, energetic pop rock sound, this is going to more of an alternative rock style. Then you've got Elevator. This song, um... While I was listening to the whole album, this song literally just changed the gears for me because I went from being serious to now partying. And um, it, this song, oh sorry, yeah, should I should mention at the end. This song features a uh, Belanca from uh, from Group One Crew. She's a really, she does a good rap verse here. She's actually good. Then every beat of my broken heart, it's a really good sad song about grace. Then made, you know, it follows um, a scripture in a uh, Psalms, and um, yeah, it's actually quite good. Uh, didn't keep going. Thank you because I'm fearfully, wonderfully made. You know, it's about you know in this message, it's about saying that uh, you know you're beautiful. God's made you that way. When he made you, he smiled, and, you know, it's for people that, you know, just have low self-esteem about themselves. And this is a good track, and I'm glad they made this song. Then you got Love Like That, it's about being, wanting to be loved by God. Then Through the Fire is a delirious, uh, influenced song, and, uh, it's great. Then you got Faithful. It's a song about refuge. Uh, another great song. Then it's Anyone But You, a funky electronic rock about waiting for a miracle. Then you've got tra song 10, Outside the Line. Nev this one sounds like Never Shout, Never and Fun mixed together to make a great song about, you know, God. Basically that. Then you've got Fighting For You. These guys uh, go back to the style um, which they started off with. Uh, it's a bit of Owl City influence on lyrics, and I liked it. Uh, anyway, my overall thoughts of view and um, a message to the guys, you know, that got upset for a minute. Yes, I'm upset too. I mean, uh, the guy, um, uh, the lead singer Jason left. Now Jonathan's taken over. Well, I'm. Um, but let's look at it this way. Jason's left. So what? 
the band's still going, they're still making millions of money. Um, they're still spreading, they're still carrying on what they started, and they're going to finish what they started. With or without Jason, but the important thing is that their faith will always remain there. And just because Jason left, that doesn't mean Hawk Nelson's dead. It's, um, it's a shame really why these bands, I bet, if you're a fan, like an ex-fan that just broke up because of this album, please, I beg you, just take a listen to this. You won't be disappointed. Um, you won't be disappointed because this album... Um, this album is great. Yes, they've gone away from their pop rock style, but they've gone to more of an alternative rock midi core style. But it's not really that. They've gone, you know, they've added some radio pop flavor and some other stuff. The energy's still there. Like, the feeling of Hot Nelson's still there. It's just matured and grown up. In fact, on that point, they've all matured and grown up. Because, you know, if you've grown up listening to them, you'll, you'll feel actually like they're growing up with you. And um, that's what they have done with me, except I'm a bit young. I'm not telling you my age. Um, but... Yeah, it's actually quite good. So, um... So, if you want to listen to it, then fine. Um, I'd give this album a 4 out of, no, actually a 5 out of 5. I actually enjoyed listening to it a lot. In fact, I'd, the song Outside the Line, I'd sing it when I'm like going out the roads, around the countryside and everything. So anyway, it's a good album. Won't be disappointed. Okay.